Hey guys, so I know that we're hoping that we get a third SpaceX Starship test flight before the end of the year. That is still to be determined, but we got some interesting details on Monday from NASA. According to NASA, SpaceX is gearing up for a game-changing demonstration during the third test flight, and NASA has spilled the beans, revealing that the upcoming Starship flight might include a propellant transfer demonstration. Now, this isn't your run-of-the-mill demo. The plan is for the rocket to reach orbit, a crucial step for this ambitious maneuver. In case you missed it or live under a rock, SpaceX recently launched its second Starship flight November 18th. Oh my gosh! <gasps> yes! Making progress, but falling short of completing the full mission. Now the propellant transfer demonstration aims to take Starship beyond its current benchmarks. A NASA official shared the news on Monday, emphasizing the plan is still subject to change, as is common in the ever-evolving space industry. NASA and SpaceX are working together to figure out the best timing for this integrated flight test of Starship and the Super Heavy rocket. According to NASA spokesperson Jimmy Russell, quote, NASA and SpaceX are reviewing options for the demonstration to take place during an integrated flight test of Starship. However, no final decisions on timing have been made. Now let's get a bit technical. This propellant transfer demonstration is part of NASA's tipping point contract, which was awarded to SpaceX in 2020. It's valued at $53.2 million, and the contract focuses on developing and testing cryogenic fluid management technology. So why is this important? Well, it's essential for our future missions to the moon and Mars. SpaceX's task involves transferring 10 metric tons of liquid oxygen within the Starship rocket. This tech is crucial because just like aerial refueling, Starship needs to be refilled with cryogenic propellant to deliver cargo to other planetary bodies. So there you have it, a potential groundbreaking moment for SpaceX and Starship. The anticipation is real. We can't wait to see if they'll successfully pull off this demonstration. We also can't wait to find out when the third launch is. There were some rumors it could be in December, but I'm leaning towards it actually being sometime in January or February. Elon also shared today that SpaceX is tracking to launch over 80% of all Earth payload to orbit this year which is just incredible. And in only a few hours, this got 2.9 million views. He also replied to Brian Krasenstein. Brian said, impressive, is there a chart of the expected increase in the global payload to space over the next decade? Where will these figures be, say in 2033? And Elon said, we need to be on Mars by 2033. So very ambitious of Elon and I really appreciate uh, all of the posts that Elon makes because they help me make news updates. <laughs> but truly, I know that this is a shorter video and I wanna get in the habit of making more news briefs or news updates in video form for you guys. So, and while they are gonna be a little bit shorter news updates, I'm hoping that this makes them more consistent and that way I can give you daily news with what's actually going on that day and not something that is a few days behind the news cycle. As always, stay tuned for more space updates by subscribing, hitting the like button, and sharing your thoughts in the comments below. Also, you should know that I have revamped my Starship merchandise store, so if you want to order a Christmas gift, I actually have a new design for IFT2, and I'm bringing back my original design from IFT1, so please consider supporting Ellie in Space by ordering a t-shirt or a hoodie. This is a great way to get a gift for someone or even yourself and to support the channel. Thank you guys so much, and I hope that you're having a great holiday season.